Hello, my name is Laurel. I'm a horticulturist here at Frederick Meyer Gardens and Sculpture Park. And I take care of the Lena Meyer Tropical Conservatory, which means I also wrangle all the butterflies during Fred and Dorothy Fichter butterflies are blooming. And one of the questions we get asked most often is, what are you feeding the butterflies? Because we have these beautiful silver spirals that we then place these um, cups in and the butterflies feed in that. The silver spirals were actually custom made for us years ago before I started here. So I don't have a source for them. I get asked that all the time. I'm sorry, you'll have to come visit us to see them. But what we put inside is simply aquarium gravel. We just bought this at Meyer. Um, we picked this color. We did a couple tests with different colors and this kind of ultraviolet-y neon color was what attracted butterflies the most. And then what we do is we pour honey water over the top of the aquarium gravel. And I'm gonna show you how we make our honey water. We just use basic honey, whatever we can get at Meyer, um, And our ratio is about one to eight. So one ounce of honey dissolved in about eight ounces of water. So for us, we make big batches because we're feeding a lot of butterflies. So I will usually do about eight ounces and 64 ounces of water. And then we like to dissolve our honey in some warm water. And the best way I've found to do that is to go from small container to large, just to stir the honey in. But it dissolves pretty quickly. But usually I end up pouring it in the big guy. And we came up with this method. We tried a couple different things. Uh, we've tried glass stones, tried natural stones, but this is what's worked the best for us. But that's it. You're just going for kind of a light honey color. Get it all dissolved in there. And then ours lasts for about two or three days before you have to make a new batch. And we do clean out our nectar dishes um, every other day. So they'll get dumped out, rinsed out, cleaned, and then replaced. Because the honey goes bad, and then also we get ants pretty quickly. So one of the questions I also get asked is, will this work for my native butterflies in my backyard? Um, we kind of have a unique situation because all of our butterflies are in a greenhouse, so they're in a contained space. And I haven't tried it outside, personally. I'm sure the butterflies, native butterflies, would like this nectar solution, but I think you'd be fighting off wasps and ants. But go for it. <laughs> and then what we do is um, we'll put the aquarium gravel in our little dishes, not too full, and then we pour the mixture over until it's just above the level of the rocks. So kind of like that. Um, and the reason we do this is because butterflies essentially taste with their feet. So they will land on something and then they'll be able to recognize the plant. And so they can stand on the aquarium gravel and then unfurl their proboscis and sip up all the honey water, we call it nectar, all the nectar that they want. And that is how we feed our butterflies here at Frederick Meyer Gardens and Sculpture Park. If you try it at home, let us know how it goes. But thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys soon.